Hello everyone. So it's been about a year and a half since I started learning how to do this tree chopping, tree cutting in my game. And uh, since um, July 14th, 2019, I've actually gotten a, a bunch of comments on uh, if I could do a tutorial on how the tree cutting is currently set up. So I answered a few questions, but I figured I'd go through this video and do a little tutorial. Before that, um, I just wanted to go through the progress I've made since February 2019 from the first time I actually set up the tree cutting with the these first trees I actually modeled when I first started learning Blender. And um, you can see the animations are, you know, okay, <laughs> not great. And uh, the trees are falling slowly and bouncing around, but, you know, it has the, the tree falling effect there. Um, so after about... Um, maybe like eight months, I added some different effects such as dust particles when the tree gets destroyed and also the leaf, the leaves that are falling and a little bit of an, uh, a hit um, impact uh, particle effect on when the, uh, the player hits the tree with the axe. Now this is currently where I'm at with my uh, tree cutting progress and I improved a little bit each um, time I've tried to work on this. And right now it's working pretty well. Um, I have a better animation for the axe chopping and also the, the trees don't bounce. So I've been learning more about physics materials and um, the different layers of collisions that you could kind of change in your project settings. So I still have tweaks to make because um, you know there's still things I want to improve. That's just better tree looking tree models and maybe the tree leaves you know moving more in the wind. Uh, like I had with the grass from last week uh, but you know this is where I'm at currently and uh, now I'll go into a little bit of how everything's set up um, uh, at this point I just want to go through uh, a little bit of how the system set up to have the tree uh, get chopped and fall down get destroyed and then also um, you know instantiate those those logs in the same position that the tree actually falls. So to start, uh, this is my prefab tree, and it has one script called tree stats on it. Uh, there's a tree top, which has a tree fall script on it. Uh, tree leaves, which is just uh, obviously the leaves, and has a separate shader for it. There's no scripts attached to it. And uh, so even without these leaves, um, the whole system would work because there's there's nothing really it's just for show and then finally we have a tree stump script so i mean the the names are pretty self-explanatory um but i'll go into each one and how they work um before i do that i'll just show you the colliders so we have the tree stump if i scroll down here um so i use a capsule collider actually i was trying different things like box colliders and um sphere colliders but a box collider I mean, the two box colliders had a more of like a sliding effect when I tried to add force to the top of the tree. So I'm using a capsule collider for the tree stump and then for the tree top, I'm using a box collider. So the, the combination of the, the box collider and the, the capsule collider um, have the, the better effect of the tree actually falling off that stump versus kind of sliding off or um, spinning off and all this other kind of stuff that was happening um, so now I will go into I guess the process of how this works so go into my scripts here I'm gonna start off by showing you the weapon collision check so each of my weapons in, in the game including the axe has this weapon collision check on it so for the trees if the axe actually hits one of the the tree tops. Um, so let me go to back into the prefab here. So the prefab tree it has the tree the tree stats on there. Um, so if it collides with that, it's going to call uh, tree stats that take damage, and it's going to convert whatever damage you know the player does. And if it's an axe, uh, the damage is. Now this again, 
Hopefully this phone doesn't ring. Um, okay, so where I left off is uh, <laughs> if the um, the axe hits the tree, the tree takes damage, and take damage on tree stats is called. Going over to the tree stats script. Um, so damage taken is equal to the damage that was uh, called from or sent through from the the weapon collision check script and then the life of the tree I have it set for a hundred uh, that damage is subtracted from the life so that, that's pretty simple there um, so this keeps happening uh, once the tree's life goes down to zero uh, I said the tree top layer equals to nine now I'll go into that a little bit later but that's pretty much changing it so that it becomes the indestructible layer which I set up so nothing else could hit it. Um, I was having the issue of the tree getting hit and then all of a sudden it would bounce off the player or bounce off the weapon again and then it would cause some crazy thing. So I just wanted to eliminate any collisions after the tree was uh, tree's life reached zero as, as it fell. At that point um, it destroys the box collider so it can't be hit anymore and then the stump collider is enabled. So this allows the tree to fall over the stump collider, which is enabled. And I have it set um, to false, the stump collider, because I don't want the player to um, hit it before the tree the tree top is uh, destroyed. After that, um, the, there's a vector 3 of a random um, value, which I, I used to use to have a random way the tree fell but for now I just change it to uh, transform forward so um, so once the tree's life reaches zero I add a component component um, of the rigid body and then I freeze the rotation of Z so that what was happening was the tree was spinning in previous videos now it just stays and falls like a tree would um, in one one direction I set the mass to 300 and then I add force to the tree um, like I said before, transform dot forward at a thousand uh, times one thousand, and um, I add force to um, somewhere in the middle of the tree, so it falls over. I mean, if it if it's too low, it kind of slides off, and if it's too high, it doesn't really um, give as much of a force to it. And at that point. Um, Nothing else was called, but then the tree fall script has on collision enter. So if the tree stats um, life is zero, less than or equal to zero, and the tree top collides with the ground, at that point, um, it, it 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 signals that you know the tree has hit the ground and to call tree has fallen on the tree stats script. So going back to the tree stats script. Um, Tree has fallen uh, is called, which starts the coroutine, destroy tree coroutine. So at that point, it takes the bounds of the box collider of the treetop and picks five locations. Um, the first three are, you can see here that are set up are um, bounds minimum of the collider, the center and the max. And then down here it instantiates the, the five log prefabs. Um, one, two, three, uh, at the minimum center and max, and then these two are between um, the beginning and center, and then this is this one's between the center and end. So those are instantiated, and um, I also have it set so uh, when it actually falls, it creates the, the dust cloud effect. So it hits the ground at the contact point, and then creates the, the effect. Tree has fallen is called, the tree gets uh, destroyed, the, the treetop gets destroyed. And then um, over here, the stump finally is able to take damage again. Or it, it's able to take damage for the first time. So then you could attack the stump and then the same thing, it instantiates um, tree stump stats. Once that goes to zero, it's the same same kind of thing. And it instantiates two, two logs. Uh, over here, and I'll adjust it later on, but I have different methods to call um, the wood chip effect or the, the hit explosion on impact at the, uh, the point of contact. And uh, yeah, 
and then I, I'll just that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below um, now I did want to show you the the collider matrix in the project settings so like I said before once the tree is actually um, Once the tree's life reaches zero, I do not want anything else to hit it because it was bouncing like crazy. So I made a new um, collision type, which is indestructible. And pretty much it's only allowed to, once the tree becomes indestructible or layer nine, as I set it up for, it's only allowed to hit the ground and nothing else. I mean, it's not gonna hit the player, it's not gonna hit the grass and bounce. It, it's just gonna hit the ground and that'll be destroyed. And that, that kind of takes out any of the, the other issues that I was having. Um, so I still need to work on the model of the tree and different shaders like that as I get better. But for now, I really like how it's progressed and I've always wanted to, to do this since the start and just being able to actually have something that gets you know, an actual tree that kind of looks like it's falling. Uh, right now my character's agility is super low, so you're gonna see the swing very slow. Um, but as you increase the agility, you get um, quicker speeds of movement and, and also action speed. So there we go, we have the tree falling, pull off that tree, and we could pick up the, the wood. And eventually I'll use that to uh, be able to, you know, build structures and things like that. Um, and then I can hit the stump. One, two, I think it's set for 60 life. And two logs come out of it. And then go into my inventory and there's six logs. So I think I covered pretty much everything with this. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to um, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And uh, you know, if there's anything that you think could be approved on these, um, um, I'm open to any suggestions. I'm looking to progress as much as I can. So, yeah. Next week I'll be working on my uh, my two year progress video. I put together the last, I think, 50 videos of the last uh, each week uh, that I've made progress on and made it into a compilation video. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free. And. Uh, I still have a lot, lot, lot more to do. So thanks for watching.